Pharmacy has been around for centuries and has helped communities around the world. Pharmacists dispense drugs and play a role in saving lives. They also counsel patients on dosage, daily health and exercise, and monitor patient activities from other pharmacies as well as their own. To become a pharmacist, you must earn your Doctor of Pharmacy degree, which you earn by completing the PharmD program and two years of internship. Pharmacies can be found anywhere from bustling cities to small towns from around the world. Now for a day in the life of a real pharmacist. Not just taking in their prescription, filling it, giving it to them, saying, do you have any questions? Have a nice day. It's really taking the time to listen and care. I've only had done it for five years and I've done the same thing, so. <laughs> I've had a pretty, um, pretty normal career so far, I think. Um, being a pharmacist is rewarding because every day you make a difference in someone's life and you may not even know it at the time. Like for instance, I used to work in downtown Baltimore and there was a big car accident right outside of our store. An elderly gentleman was driving his car, had veered off the road and crashed into a light pole and I came out. We were able to, um, you know, stop the bleeding. He was very confused, probably from the crash. I think now people say that they want to be pharmacists, but when I did it, it was either your family had done it. I liked math and I liked science, but I didn't want to be a scientist. And I was one of those that fell into it. I have very set hours and they're not long at all. It's a, it's a basic eight hour shift. People aren't feeling well, they're in a hurry, they have kids screaming in the car, that's why I love our drive throughs so you don't have to come in. A typical day would be juggling people coming to the counter, phone calls, um, making doctor's calls, verifying prescriptions. It's never been overwhelming and nothing you can handle, but you know, it, it takes a lot of practice to focus. You're working with people that are, that are sick, that have um, serious health conditions, and to me, you, you have to have empathy. To me, that's okay. <laughs> that's okay so far, so. I think that's about it. I do. I wouldn't change it.